Massa in the Guidewell Insights Lounge at Singularity University's Exponential Medicine. I'm here with Julie Lin Wong, and she's the founder of 3D4MD. So tell me a little bit about 3D4MD. Well, thanks, Jessica. So um, 3D4MD is a social enterprise that uses 3D printers to impact over a billion lives in space and on Earth. So uh, we uh, 3D print uh, diagnostic, therapeutic, and assistive devices okay. to save lives, time, and money. Okay, so tell me, I heard the in space and on Earth, and I'm not going to let you just flow right by that. So tell me, what, what are you doing in space? <laughs> sure. So astronauts can't take everything they need with them on the long space mission. So 3D from D is scheduled to email and 3D print the first medical devices on board the International Space Station. So what are you printing? So uh, we're actually printing a uh, finger splint okay. because astronauts are at high risk for hand injuries because when you're in microgravity, uh, you don't really use your, uh, use your legs and feet anymore. So you're really doing everything um, with your um, hands and arms. And so um, there ac there's actually research to show that astronauts uh, or um, hand injuries are some of the most common joint injuries, injuries that we see in astronauts. So we felt that uh, coming up with a finger splint to treat a, a potential injury um, on an astronaut would be very, very appropriate and relevant. Excellent. So, OK, let's bring this technology back to Earth, because sure. you didn't see that coming. Yeah. So tell me, what else how, What else are you doing to work in 3D printing into, the, into more clinical applications? So as I said before, uh, we basically have um, 3D from D is building a, a digital library like iTunes. Okay. But instead of songs, people will be able to select and download crowdsource quality tested 3D printable files wow. to make uh, lower cost and even personalized uh, diagnostic, therapeutic, and assistive devices on demand locally. So what's the opportunity here then? I mean, on, on the provider side, what's the opportunity? And also on the patient side, what's the opportunity? So uh, the opportunities for both patients and healthcare providers is that 3D printing can potentially save lives, time, or money. So for example, there are over 1 billion people with a disability. And because of a global shortage of skilled workers, uh, many people with disabilities can't get assistive devices that allow them to participate fully in everyday life. So 3D from D, we make award-winning 3D printable assist devices uh, that can be made using 3D printers in uh, clinics, in hospitals, in public libraries, schools, wow. maker spaces, print shops, and even people's homes. And this saves time and money for people with disabilities. Are you having um, an easy time bringing this into the marketplace, or are you encountering any challenges? So uh, our next step is to get FDA clearance okay. of the over 50 devices that we've created for our rapidly growing digital catalog. Sure. And I know the FDA has representation here and that they've been talking a lot about changes in the regulatory environment. So we're hoping this goes quickly for you. Me too. <laughs> Um, as far as um, some of these broader, other exponential technologies that have been discussed here, I mean, obviously you're in um, digital and applied manufacturing here and, and you're, you're taking things into space, but some of the other um, exponential technologies, the big data implications or, or any of those, the digital health implications, how do you see this working with what you've got going on here at, at uh, 3D 4MD? So yeah, so actually a lot of these uh, affordable and accessible technologies are converging. So 3D printing is very affordable and accessible um, because, uh, th um, uh, because 3D design software is free and 3D printers are you know, publicly available in places like universities and schools and libraries. And another, I think, really fascinating technology is drone robotics. Mm -hmm. So one of our um, uh, areas of interest now is 3D printing drones to resupply 3D printers in remote medical facilities. Wow. Yeah. OK, so that, yeah, that is some super convergence there. <laughs> yeah. And so, so oh, go ahead. Yeah. No, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm wondering if we need to wrap here to go back to main stage. Oh, OK, I'm sorry. I'm just checking. Um, so I, I do need to ask you one last question. Yes. So I'm curious to know, as far as um, the future of healthcare, I asked Dr. Kraft, and I'd like to ask you, too, what has sure. you optimistic about the future of healthcare? Well, I think what's so exciting about the future of healthcare is that it is increasingly open source, crowdsourced, and impact driven. So with 3D printing technology, physical objects can be stored as digital files. Right. So what that means is, by harnessing humanity's collective creativity and compassion, we can build solutions that not only help patients we know, but will continue to help patients after we're gone. Julie Lynn, thank you so much for joining us. I think the main stage is starting, so we're going to take it back live. Thanks for joining us in the Guidewell Insights Lounge. I'm Jessica DeMassa. Thanks, Jessica.